Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine from 3rd BA English. What is the importance of research methodology? Research methodology gives research legitimacy and provides scientifically sound findings. Omission in a quotation takes place within a sentence if two or more sentences are present in a quotation and while quoting a poetry. In this video, let's delve deeper about quoting a poetry and omission in a quotation of poetry in a research. The rules to be followed while quoting a poetry. Use double quotation marks around the quotation. Capitalize any words that are capitalized in the original poetry. Then place a slash to separate line in the poem. The slash present after the word wall shows the ending of a particular sentence. Some other rules to be kept in mind while quoting a poetry include line numbers can be used to identify the location where the given quoted lines are present in the poem. If the quotation is few lines or longer, it can be quoted in block letters. The purpose of in-text citation is that it should direct the reader to the correct source entry given in the work cited list. Omission in a quotation of poetry is allowed when we use certain symbols to represent the omission of a word or sentence in a quotation. Such symbols are ellipses, single slash and double slashes. Ellipsis is a symbol which can be represented using three spaced periods. It denotes continuation. Ellipses can be placed at the beginning, in the middle or at the end of a particular quotation. It indicates where the information has been omitted. In the first example, the waiting room was full of grown-up people, arctics and workouts, lamps and magazines can be written by omitting few words followed by an ellipsis. In the second sentence, the whole sentence is written by omitting the last few lines and placing an ellipsis instead. There are places where single and double forward slashes should be used. Use a forward slash if any part of a particular line is omitted from the quotation. The example shows the appropriate use of ellipses followed by forward slash which represents the line break. Use a double slash when a whole line is elided. From this example, we can infer that the second line is completely omitted which is replaced by an ellipsis followed by a double slash. These are the methods to be followed while omitting any part of a poem from a quotation. I hope this video helps you. Thank you for watching.